Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and this is the Season 5 Chick-fil-A All-Star Race, yep. It's finally time for the next one. The least popular race in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series returns, and we're ready to see how these 26 drivers battle it out here at the Armory Digital Super Speedway to see who gets an automatic reserve for season number six of the Chick-fil-A Cup Series, which will start in February, by the way. But anyways, we got ourselves a defending champion of this series, Matt Dalio, starting on the pole. And uh, we got ourselves the guy who's tied with Garrett Sinor for the most wins in this series, Max Newworth in the 93. They're gonna start on the front row. Let's go ahead and get some things straight before we get these guys to roll off. There will be no cautions in this race, none at all. So if they crash, we keep on racing. You see it says 20 laps right now. That is not the full race. The full race is a 24 lap race. We're gonna have a first segment of 20 laps. Um, and then at the end of that 20 lap segment, all of the lead lap cars will return to the next segment. But in the reverse order, they finished in the first segment. This is the format you guys decided to vote for. It was a clear majority. Now, I'm not sure how many of those votes were actually uh, the same person. We did have a little bit of a problem with that. But we're still going to do it this way anyway. The first 20 laps, they kind of just race it out. If you do not finish on the lead lap in the first segment, you will not be in the second and final four-lap segment. And that final four-lap segment, the starting lineup for it will be the reverse order of the way they finished in the first segment. So you might want to kind of try to finish in the back for this one. But um, if you don't, you know, that's okay. As long as you finish on the lead lap, you're going on. And this racetrack has a lot of passing. But that final segment's only four laps long. So you might want to be kind of somewhere in the middle. We don't know yet. That's the fun thing about this. It's stupid, I know, but you know what? Who cares? This is not a points race. This is the all-star race, and nobody cares. Let's go ahead and get these guys to roll off here. Matt Dalio and Max Newer, like I said, starting on the pole for this one. I think I forgot to take the picture of the starting lineup again. Yep, I did that. I forgot to do the picture again. Uh, let me go ahead and set a reminder on my phone here. This is, this is going to be fun. You're going to see the starting uh, lineup roll on the bottom of your screen. Remind me to take a picture of the starting lineup in 15 minutes. Uh, I know that much. Okay, well, Siri must not have. Okay, now, okay. Remind me to take a picture of the starting lineup in 25 minutes. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay yeah. I just did that live, I know. Anyways, Matt Dalio, Max Newworth on the front row. William Brock and Zachary Fitzwater in row number two. We have Caleb Hoffman and Jesse Turner. Turner coming off of that disappointing race at Indianapolis. Let's get something done here today. Of course, he's in every Chick-fil-A All-Star race. He doesn't have to worry about anything because he's a past champion. That's why he's in this race. He starts alongside Hoffman there in row number three. Road America winner Tyler Selzman alongside Davey Johnson in row number four. We got Cameron Garlington and Garrett Sinor in row number five. That's the top ten starting positions here for the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race. And you see the guys in the back here. The showdown winner, Landon Napa. Showdown second place, Ben Clark. And the All-Star fan vote winner, Noah Cars, in his right scheme this time. I made sure I got it this time. And uh, he'll be starting in the back. It doesn't really matter where you start because if you're in the back and on the lead lap, you're going to be starting up front for the final four lap segment. So that's what you want to do. You don't want to win this segment because you're going to be starting in the back of the field. So many strategies going to be going on here. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. Let's see what these guys, uh, excuse me, what these guys do. My apologies for that one there. We're green flag racing in the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race. Matt Dalio trying to get the run on the inside of Max North, and he should be able to do it. These cup cars don't have as much downforce as the trucks. Remember the truck race on Thursday. Got those guys to work the outside pretty well on that one. These cup cars do not work the outside near as good as the trucks do. 
So if you fail to finish on the lead lap, you are out for the rest of the race, and you will not be in the second segment. But as long as you finish on the lead lap, you will be in the second segment. So if you kind of have a problem, but you stay on the lead lap, you're going to be starting on the pole position for the final four-lap segment. That's the really odd thing about this uh, inverse, you know, stuff we're going to be doing here at the end. But, uh, hey, it's fun. We'll figure it out. Remember the, um, what was it, the Season 3 All-Star Race was crazy. I mean, we, we had so much inverse inversing and inversions. That's what it is. We had so many inversions and all this other stuff. It was so complicated. The Stuart Gratton one, so that was cool. And you guys seem to like it when Stuart Gratton wins, so yeah. But anyways, Matt Dalio. He led lap number one. Trey Barger trying to get to the inside of him. And you got Noah Cars back in here. The way they are finishing right now, he'd start on the pole for the final four-lap segment. But we still got quite a few laps to go in this segment. And we're going to have to see how it all shakes out here. Of course, we usually do not see many crashes here at Armory Digital. Now, in the Turkey Hill Series races we've had here, we've had crashes there. But I do not believe we've ever had a crash in a cup car here at Armory Digital. Now, we do have it set to 110% for this race due to the fact that I, you know, think that 108 is a little too, you know, low for a track like this. These guys do have restrictor plates on their race cars here at Armory Digital. Unlike Daytona and Talladega, when we go to Daytona and Talladega, there are no restrictor plates on the race cars in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. But here at Armory Digital, they are on. And that's why we decided to make sure they were going as fast as they possibly could so that we might have the possibility of a crash. There won't be a caution because the cautions are turned off for this race. But I want to see a crash because it's the all-star race, you know? No championships on the line for this one. It's all for fun, and the winner gets a reserve. That's what's on the line. And I tell you, this race is so dumb, and nobody cares about it. I don't even know if I'm going to return it for Season 6. I really don't. It depends on how well you guys like it this season. It has never really been a fan favorite, but you know what? We're going to have fun with it anyway, and we're just going to have to see what happens. Hey, at least we're not going to screw up like NASCAR did in their All-Star race, huh? Yeah be proud about that. Ryan Madden with a run on the outside of John Arndt. Caleb Hoffman on the inside there, and here come the guys who advanced on. Landon Napa on the inside, and fan vote winner Noah Cars moving his way on the inside. It's Caleb Hoffman leading the field in the number six, and it's going to be Hoffman who leads lap four here in the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race. Landon Napa a part-time driver. He won two races in the Napa Truck Series. He's in the chase over there. He's been uh, been doing a great job over there in the Truck Series. So he's kind of deserving of being here in the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race because of all of his success over there. He currently leads the field in the part-time 26. We got more than four part-time drivers in the field for this one. Landon Napa, William Brock, Max Newworth, Marty Johnson, and Ben Clark. I don't think I mentioned Ben Clark. No. Napa, Brock, Clark, Johnson, and Newark. We got five part-time drivers in this race, yeah. And 26 drivers are in the full field. Noah Carr is up front in the number 42. He started last, and in five laps, he moved his way up to first place. But the final segment is four laps long, so I think the place you'll want to be is kind of finishing kind of like where Garlington and Hoffman are right here. I think that's where you want to finish for this segment if you want to win this race because you're going to be far back enough where you can get you know, to the inside and move your way up in enough time so that you don't get passed for the lead and you'll win the race. We're just going to have to see. Here comes the guy, the defending uh, champion of this race, Cameron Black. The season four Chick-fil-A All-Star Race winner. We have four, or sorry, three previous All-Star Race winners in the field. They're all on this inside lane. Zachary Fitzwater's the season one Chick-fil-A All-Star Race winner, and Stuart Gratton's the season three All-Star Race winner. And that was the last time we were at Armory Digital is when Stuart Gratton won the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race. But he's on this inside here, moving his way up. Cameron Black leads lap number six. Here comes the 24 of Elijah Gordon to the inside of the 44 and the 42. And yes, remember my comment there in Nashville, you know, the kind of season he's been having. 
but he'd like to change that around here. Remember, Stuart Gratton, when he won the Season 3 All-Star Race, he was in the showdown for that race. He, he got the win in the first segment, he advanced on, and he ended up winning the All-Star Race. He had had terrible luck that season, and the season before that, and even the season after that. But he got that All-Star win. Stuart Gratton's right behind this 24. Gratton got that win at Charlotte, and he's in the chase for season number five this season. He is the points leader. He was the points leader at the end of the regular season. This has been the best season by far Stuart Gratton has ever had in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series, and he's back at a place he knows very well, Armory Digital Super Speedway, where he won the season three Chick-fil-A All-Star Race. He's gonna take the lead away from Elijah Gordon, here comes Valvoline 400 winner Larry Ike, kind of a dark horse in the field. At 98, when he won at Daytona, and that was the first time the 98 had won a Chick-fil-A Cup Series race. Here comes the Season 2 champion, Jesse Turner. And he's mad about what happened in Indianapolis. He came oh so close to getting it done there, but just couldn't do it. He's going to miss the chase again this season, but an all-star race win would definitely... Uh, help the hopes of this 43 team heading in the next season. I'm assuming Turner's going to return to this ride for season number six. It's his ride here in the Chick-fil-A Cup season, but we're just going to have to see. He really hasn't had much success in it. Other than that season two championship and the Daytona 500 win in season one, Jesse Turner has really not done that much in that 43 car. A three-time winner in the Chick-fil-A Cup series, Jesse Turner, and including uh, the Mel Yellow dual win earlier this season. Josh Alexander, the Daytona 500 champion, and I'm going to let you guys know something right now. Yes, this guy did change his name, and normally I wouldn't allow that, but it was way too complicated not to allow that. So I had to change it, had to keep it rolling, and it's now Josh Alexander instead of his name previously. But then he goes and signs up for it on Caleb's series, and I just don't know why. But hey, you know what? Whatever. We're having fun anyway, so why should we care about that? Josh Alexander did not lead that lap. It was Selzman on the outside. Max Newworth, he wants a win here. And I'm going to let him know right now. You will be able to reserve for season number six. Yes, you will. Four seasons in a row now is what you need to be able to reserve for the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. This is Max Newer's fourth season in a row, and he will be able to reserve a full-time ride next season no matter what. So that's the kind of thing I don't like about the All-Star Race. Half of the guys in the field already have that reserve kind of specialty there. But I guess we kind of still have it because we got guys like Ben Clark. He's a part-time driver trying to get a full-time ride next year. If they win this race, then they're going to get a reserve. You know, they're going to, you know, join the group of guys who automatically get reserves. Guys like Matt Dalio, guys like Max Newworth, guys like Caleb Hoffman, Nicholas Samadio is going to be in that list now. They're, they're going to automatically get reserves just because of their longevity in the series. If you race four seasons in a row, they have to be in a row. So Christian Master isn't really going to count for this one, unfortunately. But if you race four seasons in a row, you automatically get a reserve for the next season. You can keep on doing that. I like doing that because those guys who stick with us are the guys who give us so much support on this channel. And uh, I can't thank them enough. So that's why they deserve to be back in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series because they are the drivers that make the Chick-fil-A Cup Series what it is. And I uh, love having them. And we had a crash. Landon Napa. Marty Johnson. Noah Cars and Elijah Gordon. I don't know how many of these guys are going to go a lap down, but a few of them probably will. Those are three part-time, or, yeah. No, okay, no, those are only two part-time guys there. Landon Napa and Marty Johnson are in the pit road, and if they do not get back on the lead lap, they are not going to be in the final four-lap segment. Oh, man, Landon Napa's going to get back out here, but he might end up getting sworn to buy this pack that's coming off a of turn four right now. Noah Cars, I do believe, is still on the lead lap, and so is Elijah Gordon. If Noah Cars advances on to the segment, he stays on the lead lap, he will get a new race car for that segment. Marty Johnson has just gone a lap down. He will not be racing in segment number two. But the way it's running right now, here's Landon Napa. 
He's going to come off the racetrack, and this is the pack led by Trey Barto closing up to him. The way they are running right now, Landon Napa would start on the pole for the show or for the uh, final segment of the All Star race. That's how crazy this race is. You crash, you think your race is over, but you get get the start on the pole for the final segment because of it. What, what in the world? I know this race is totally crazy. It's totally messed up, but you know what? Who cares? It's not a championship race. It does not affect the points, and uh, we're gonna have fun with it anyway. Caleb Hoffman, Rockingham winner. He's going to lead lap 13 here. Cameron Gadju in the 32, moving his way on the inside. We got Zachary Fitzwater, Cameron Black, and Landon Napa. Does not want to go a lap down, because if he does, he's not going to be able to race in the second segment. And there he goes, a lap down in the 26. Tough break for him there, but he could possibly get back on the lead lap racing in this pack. We're just going to have to see. Hoffman in the 6 currently leads. He's going to be able to clear Cameron Gaju. Gaju running in second place in the 32. Here comes Cameron Black. And our last winner here in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series, Jonathan Skiv Nikki, the winner of the Rays Dyes and Tubing 400 at Indianapolis. Only 13 of these guys in the field, however, are chase drivers. The other three, Jordan Newman, Bryce Lofor, and Cody Smart, are not racing in the All-Star Race because they did not have any wins from this season or the previous season, and they did not race their way in the uh, showdown. But they are still chase drivers, and they'll be racing for a championship nonetheless, but kind of an interesting way we do it here for the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race. Not all the chase drivers make it. Gentlemen, skip Nikki to the inside of Caleb Hoffman for the lead. Baby Johnson on the inside here. Yeah, Larry Ike. Landon Napa wants to get on this inside lane here soon so he can move his way up the field and possibly beat all these guys. We're just going to have to see. But him and Marty Johnson. Now, Marty Johnson is definitely not going to be in segment number two. It was a tough break for the 40 there. But Landon Napa can get back in if he can get in front of all these cars and finish on the lead lap. We're just going to have to see. There is Noah Cars going down the back stretch. And these guys are exiting turn one right now. So I am pretty sure Noah Cars is in the best position right now because the way they are running right now, Noah Cars would start first for the final segment of this race. And we will review the crash that happened to knock out Marty Johnson um, at the end of this segment. So don't worry there. Larry Ike to the inside of Davey Johnson for the lead. Jesse Turner, Max Newworth, William Brock on the inside there. Has it been that long? Oh, I had two alerts for that. I had two alerts for the starting lineup, so that's why. <laughs> there won't be a starting lineup for segment two. I'll let you guys know that right now. We're actually going to start them on the back stretch for that one. We, we, not, we might not uh, show them uh, stopped. We might just go ahead and... Uh, Show them rolling through turn four there for that final segment. We're just going to have to see. I don't know. I'll probably eat dinner in between these two segments, so we'll see. Anyways, Max Newworth trying to get to the inside of Jesse Turner. William Brock right behind him. These part-time guys have had a lot of success this weekend. Showdown was won by Landon Napa. The top three positions in that race were part-time drivers. We've got a part-time driver leading right now here in the All-Star Race. It's the 93 of Max Newworth. Trying to get something done there in that BK Racing Machine. Max North has driven for this team his whole career in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. And uh, I hope he continues in uh, BK Racing here in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. We got the 47. And Jesse Turner is in the outside wall, falling back. Is that strategy to get back and get a higher starting position in the last segment? I don't know. But it looks like it's working out for him pretty well. He's on the outside and he's going to fall back a little bit more. That's what you want to do in this segment. You want to fall back because you don't want to be starting last. Only unless you're this guy. In uh, the Season 3 All-Star Race, he started last for the final five-lap segment. He won the race. That's uh, the, final five, the final segment for this All-Star Race is four laps long. So you might not necessarily want to be leading this segment. But that is the advantage here. Because you can move your way through the field pretty quickly, you might want to start in the back of the field. So it's kind of an advantage to win the first segment because you're going to move your way through the field anyway. 
And somebody's going to get a disadvantage here. Noah Cars, but guess who's at the going to advantage there? Landon Napa in the 26 is going to get an advantage from that. Noah Cars is done. He is not going to advance on to the next segment. He might cause another crash here in the 42. This guy is slow. It's going to be the white flag next time in segment one of the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race. Getting ready for the second segment of this one. Noah Cars holding all these guys down. But that could be a good thing for guys back in here. But that's a tough break for Noah Cars. He's not going to be able to advance on to the final segment. Landon Napa has a shot. He's got to get around all these guys around. If he gets to the inside now, he might have a slim chance, but he's not going to do it. Stuart Gratton trying to start last for the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race. Elijah Gordon will start on the pole for the final segment. So a little bit of an advantage there for Gordon, but like I said, it is very easy to move your way through the field in four laps, and starting in the back might be what you want to do. We'll see what happens here. It will be Stuart Gratton who wins the first segment of the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race. He'll start last. Landon Napa, Noah Cars, and Marty Johnson will not advance on because they all are going to finish a lap down. Elijah Gordon, though, he's going to finish on the lead lap, and guess what? Elijah Gordon will be starting first for the final four lap segment. Gratton's going to start last as he won this one, but that might be what he wants to do. Like I said, he started last in the final segment of the Season 5 Chick-fil-A All-Star Race, and he won that thing. I said Season 5, it's Season 3. Anyways, those are the official standings. So take away Landon Napa, Noah Cars, and Marty Johnson. Take those, 23, those top 23, switch them around, invert them, Elijah Gordon, Larry Ike going to be starting on the front row for this final five-lap segment. Let's go ahead and get to the replay of that crash here in the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race Segment 1. Well, this is what happened here to Noah Cars, Marty Johnson, and Elijah Gordon was also caught up in this, but fortunately for Gordon, he did not finish a lap down, so he'll be starting on the pole position for the next segment of this race. But... Uh, they just got together, entering turn number one. You see the 40 kind of drift up on the 42. And there's just nowhere to go for Noah Cars. Marty Johnson flipping upside down. Now, Landon Napa was not involved in this crash. We're going to see what happened to him eventually. I don't exactly know quite yet, but we'll figure it out. Uh, but Marty Johnson upside down, and that's enough damage to knock him out. He will not continue on. Look at how close Elijah Gordon was there to the 40. That's how close Elijah Gordon was to not advancing on to the next segment. Noah Cars with too much damage to continue. And we're going to go ahead and play it here. And uh, this is Landon Napa in the 26. I'm thinking something might have happened to the 26 here. Maybe like an engine problem or maybe a loose tire maybe. I don't know. Something like that on the 26. Loose wheel. But he comes to the pit road this lap, I am pretty sure. Yes, he does, and you see him go down there. I do not know why he came in. There was no need to come in. It's not like there are pit stops on here. You can make it to the end without uh, having to uh, pit for fuel. But unfortunately for Landon Napa, that was not the case. Something happened on that 26. He went a lap down, and he will not be advancing on to the final segment of the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race. Replay this in real time here. Marty Johnson goes up in the Noah Cars. Let's have some fun. Upside down goes the Darlington winner from this season in the Dodge Challenger 400. And that's a tough hit for Marty Johnson. He's not going to advance on along with Noah Cars and Landon Napa. Let's go ahead and um, get to that final segment. We're ready for it. But, uh, yeah, we're not quite ready for it yet. There are the official standings for segment number one. Um... So Landon Napa, Noah Cars, Marty Johnson, they're all out. But everybody from Elijah Gordon on up, they're going to be in the final four-lap segment. And Elijah Gordon will start on pole. Those uh, finishing positions there, all the guys on the lead lap, 
will invert their positions for the starting lineup for the final segment. Let's uh, go ahead and get to the final four-lap segment here in the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race for season number here we five. Go. We're ready to get this one started here. Elijah Gordon and Larry Ike they are going to start on the front row for this one. Elijah Gordon was last of all the lead lap cars in segment number one. And because of that, he gets the start on the pole position. The guy who won segment one, Stuart Graham, starts last. The field is inverted from the finishing order from the first segment of all the guys who finished on the lead lap. Noah Cars, Marty Johnson, and Landon Napa are not going to race in this um, final segment because they failed to finish on the lead lap. 23 cars, four laps, and a reserve on the line for season six of the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. Let's see who gets it here at Armory Digital. Elijah Gordon. Now it is very faintly possible he can hold everybody off here, but that's a hard thing to do. We have seen it happen, though, at tracks like this before. Talladega in the Aero Electric Pro Series Season 3. Cole Baker led, like, the last five laps of that race. And uh, he was really dominant at the end. And he held everybody off there at a pa uh, place where passing is extremely frequent. This is another place where passing is extremely frequent. And it's hard to keep the lead here at Armory Digital. Here goes Jonathan Skipnicki in the 46. He's to the inside of Elijah Gordon for the lead. Jesse Turner in the 43. Josh Alexander in the 34 on the inside here. We got Jesse Turner trying to take second away from Gordon. Skipnicki leads the first of four laps in this final segment. Whoever wins this segment wins the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race and a reserve for season six. The 43 to the inside of Jonathan Skibnicki for the lead. Josh Alexander, Cameron Black, the season five, or the season four, I should say, Chick-fil-A All-Star winner. He's to the inside here. You got Bonsi Noor and Ryan Madden on the inside. See where Stuart Gratton is. He's still in the back of the pack here. It's not good for the 47 at all. I think if you're in the back right now, you're too far back to get this win. But I think if you're somewhere around Garrett Sonora, I think you're in a good position. Right around this area, I think might be the money position right now. But we're just going to have to see. Jesse Turner leads lap two of uh, four. And we got a crash. Big crash. And there are no cautions. Remember that. That's going to really shake things up. Larry Ike. John Art, Josh Alexander, I see Fitzwater, Matt Dalio, Cameron Gaju, and Jonathan Skib Nicky, but we're still green, and that changes everything. It's going to be a five car battle for the win. Alex Bunsino, Ryan Madden, Cameron Black, William Brock in here. The 59, a dark horse for this one. Will he be able to do it? Remember, the reserve is for a full time ride. William Brock had a part time ride this season. <coughs> and we also have. Jesse Turner here in the 43. It's going to be one of these five guys. That crash changed everything. Who's going to get it done in the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race? White flying to Alex Bonsignor. Who's going to get it done? William Brock to the inside of Bonsignor for the lead. Jesse Turner's in a great position right now. If he gets to the inside of the 59, he might have this one. But let's not count off the guy who won it last year. Cameron Black's up here in the 11. He's trying to return to that number 11 for a third straight season. <coughs> but it's William Brock in the 59, staying out front. Will Jesse Turner get a run to the inside of him here? We're just going to have to see. I don't think it's going to happen, or is it? Turner's going to get a run here. Jesse Turner's going to get a run to the inside, but will he have enough on William Brock? Turner has help. Turner, William Brock, they're going to be side by side at the line. And at the line, it's going to go to Jesse Turner in the 43. He wins the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race in Season 5 of the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. It was one race too late for him, and I'm pretty sure he's happy about that one. Jesse Turner, the winner of the Season 5 Chick-fil-A All-Star Race, and he's going to be returning to that famed number 43 for Season number 6. William Brock was oh so close in that 59 to getting it done. But he just couldn't pull it off. And Jesse Turner 
wins the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race for season number five of the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. We had a pretty big crash there. Larry Ike all torn up in the 98. I think Josh Alexander is also torn up. Zachary Fitzwater in the 44 as well. A tough break for all those guys. He got you there in the 32. Skiv Nicky was the first guy I saw go around. I know Mac Dahlia was involved, and so was Max Newerth. But Jesse Turner just won the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race in the 43. Let's go ahead and uh, replay that crash for you guys before we finish this thing out. And this is what happened here to knock out a few guys in this one. Josh Alexander, remember, he's a rookie driver here. Gets up into Max Newerth. They're four wide. They can handle four wide here at Armory Digital pretty well, but it did not happen there. Skimnicki got part of this one. You see Newerth, Elijah Gordon around, Larry Ike, John Arndt spun, ar uh, spun around in the 95. You see Fitzwater in the 44. A lot of the guys on the inside avoided it, but because those five guys in front of this were uh, able to keep on going and the guys behind this had to slow down, those guys behind that uh, short pack there, that small pack there, did not have a shot at getting to them. You see Josh Alexander go down, Larry Ike go down, Zachary Fitzwater almost went upside down. You see Gaju and Dalio on the apron there, and Skip Nicky sideways on the racetrack, one of the first guys to go around in this one. And this was a tough break for all these guys involved here. Max Newworth in 93, had a good shot here today. Jonathan Skip Nicky in the 46. A lot of guys involved in this one. Now the thing here about Turner winning, he, he's a guy that automatically gets a reserve, you know, each season because of his longevity in the series. So it doesn't really mean that much on the reserve side of things. But still, it's pretty cool to see the first ever winner in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series pull it off in the car he did it in back then in season one. Jesse Turner gets the victory here in the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race. This was the finish here. Uh, I think this is it. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> I'm, I really I forget how these controls work. But right there. You see the difference between the 43 and the 59. And uh, that was a pretty close finish there for the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race. But that's going to go to Jesse Turner in the number 43. A great run for the Season 2 champion. Even though he's not in the chase for this season, he got the All-Star race win. And that's something to feel good about. We actually only had three rookies in this race. Or sorry, my bad. We had uh, five rookies in this race. But only three rookies in this segment. That shows how well the full-time... Um, regular, the uh, veteran drivers, my goodness, I'm tired. I've, I've done this in the third race in a row, I'm trying to catch up. But uh, the veteran drivers have been doing a fantastic job this season, and Jesse Turner just showed that here today. But look at that, the top 11, all veteran drivers. Ben Clark, the highest rookie in the field. Remember, he advanced on from the showdown. But Jesse Turner gets it done here in the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race, and he will be returning to the famed number 43 for season number 6 of the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. That's right where he belongs, and if he can win the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race, expect him to get a points win here soon. It's been a very long time since Jesse Turner has won a points race here. He got the dual win back in Daytona earlier this season, and he has this one. All he needs is that points win, and he's got a pretty complete season. Of course, he missed the chase this season. Kind of hate it for him. But you know what? It's good to get some sweet redemption and get the win in the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race. Jesse Turner, the winner, here at Armory Digital. And that is it for me. So thank you guys very much for watching. Cheers from New Jersey. Well, you guys are probably watching this. I'm in New Jersey right now. Yeah, just chilling. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it for me for this race. So, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching once again. Congratulations to Jesse Turner, the winner of the Chick-fil-A All-Star Race, and that is it for me. I, I'm not doing this right. I'm not doing this right. My sister just left the door open so I can't yell right now. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know.
There you go, she closed the door, now I can yell. I will see you guys later. That was awkward, I know, but you know what, who cares? Jesse Turner just won a race, and I'm happy about it. I will see you guys later, I'm sorry.